Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what phenobarbital is, the history of phenobarbital, how phenobarbital works, side effects, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link at the top of our channel and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to the NIH, phenobarbital is a medicine that acts as a sedative and an anti-seizure medication. It is also used to treat patients in withdrawal from barbiturate addiction. Phenobarbital is classified as a barbiturate that works by increasing the amount of time chloride channels or GABA receptors are open, which depresses the central nervous system. According to the DEA, barbiturates are depressants that produce a wide spectrum of central nervous system depression from mild sedation to coma. They have also been used as sedatives, hypnotics, anesthetics, and anticonvulsants. Phenobarbital is being studied to treat diarrhea and to increase anti-tumor effects. It has also been linked to idiosyncratic liver injury in rare cases. Phenobarbital is also known as luminol, gardenol, high steps, and feminol. Phenobarbital was first used as an anti-epileptic drug in 1912. It was synthesized in 1911 by scientists Heinrich Kurlein and marketed by Bayer under the name Luminol. It's one of the few drugs from 1912 that is still listed today and according to the NIH, remarkably, its efficiency in epilepsy has not been significantly bettered. The current recommendation by the WHO is that phenobarbital should be offered as the first option for therapy for convulsive epilepsy in adults and children if availability can be ensured. Despite its side effects, phenobarbital is strongly recommended due to its proven and long-standing efficiency and low cost. According to the NIH, Phenobarbital works as a barbiturate medication by acting on GABA-A receptors, binding to their chloride ion gates, and increasing the amount of time these channels are open. Opening these channels allows for a hyperpolarizing flow of ions, increasing the action potential, and depressing the central nervous system. It is metabolized in the liver and is known for its rapid and complete absorption. Phenobarbital has been associated with some drug interactions and should not be given to patients with histories of addiction. The National Library of Medicine lists the following side effects for phenobarbital. Drowsiness, headache, dizziness, excitement or increased activity, especially in children, nausea, vomiting. See your doctor immediately if experiencing any of the following slow breath or difficulty breathing, swelling of the eyes, lips, or cheeks, rash or blistering skin, fever, and confusion. It is possible to overdose from phenobarbital. Symptoms of overdose include uncontrollable eye movement, loss of coordination, drowsiness, slowed breathing, drop in body temperature, blisters. The National Library of Medicine suggests the following. In case of overdose, call the Poison Control Helpline at 1-800-222-1222. Information is also available online at https www.poisonhelp.org help. If the victim has collapsed, had a seizure, has trouble breathing, or can't be awakened, immediately call emergency services at 911. Besides side effects, 
Complications associated with phenobarbital use are coma, decreased effort to breathe, and low blood pressure. These are more common in geriatric patients. Do not stop taking phenobarbital abruptly, as this can, like other barbiturates, cause withdrawal symptoms. It is necessary to taper off the medication. Barbiturates are contraindicated in people with barbiturate sensitivity, liver impairment, nephric syndrome, or past addiction. Careful consideration of interactions is necessary when taken with other medicines. Phenobarbital makes oral contraceptives less effective and causes patients with obstructive lung disease to have increased risk of complications. Alcohol must not be mixed with phenobarbital as taking both can cause severe respiratory depression. Note, this is not an extensive list. Please consult your doctor if you are experiencing other negative side effects and be aware of all risk. In conclusion, phenobarbital is classified as a barbiturate that works by increasing the amount of time chloride channels or GABA receptors are open which depresses the central nervous system. Phenobarbital works as a barbiturate medication by acting on GABA-A receptors, binding to their chloride ion gates and increasing the amount of time these channels are open. Opening these channels allows for a hyperpolarizing flow of ions, increasing the action potential and depressing the central nervous system. It is metabolized in the liver and is known for its rapid and complete absorption. There are many side effects when taking phenobarbital. Consult with your doctor before making any changes to your treatment plan. To learn more about phenobarbital, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.